Hello everybody, this is Dr. Novak again, and this time I'm going to talk to you about something that manufacturers just don't want you to know. And what they don't want you to know is the correct way of setting up things. In the next few photographs you're going to see anoxic filtration systems. Each one of these pictures are of anoxic filtration system filled with plants plant baskets and the full filtration system but they all have one thing in common what you're looking at here none of them use nitrogen none of them use plant fertilizer tablets that's right not a one of these filters use fertilizer tablets or ever have used fertilizer tablets they all utilize the ammonia that's being made from the koi in their ponds and their profuse flowering and growth has nothing to do with nitrogen. In fact, I will show you some tests and test kit tests that I did. Most of the nitrogen is under 10 parts per million in these ponds. I just tested my pond and it was about oh, 10 to 15 parts per million. I haven't done a water change in five months. And I have 10 large koi in my pond and I haven't done a water change in five months and they get fed anywhere between two to two and a half pounds of food a week. Now imagine how much food that is. But my koi live in something that people just don't believe and that is they all live in 750 gallons of water. They've grown from six to seven inch fish to over 26 inch monsters in my pond. My smallest koi is 16 and a half inches and they all go up from there and I have 10 of them. Most of these ponds have a lot more fish than even mine but some of them are only like 2,800 gallons or whatever but their fish loads, some of their fish are over 30, 32 inches with huge mass and yet not a one of those ponds, not a one of those filters that you saw use fertilizer tablets. Nothing with nitrogen in it. All they use is a simple ingredient kitty litter and laterite. The laterite provides iron for the bacteria and the plants and that's it. What you're looking at is my tank. This is only five months old. The only thing I've ever introduced into this tank is iron and what the substrate ha has. I think it's uh, uh, manganese. The substrate has it and iron. Other than that I have introduced no fertilizer tablets and yet my nitrates in this particular tank here which only had one water change a partial water change in five months is under 10 parts per million of nitrogen yet I see hobbyists writing and showing videos of nitrates that are skyrocket 20 parts per million 40 parts per million 80 parts per million 100 parts per million nitrogen now why is it my tank doesn't have all that nitrogen in it and why is it these hobbyists do? Well first mistake they're using or making is they're using fertilizer tablets. Fertilizer tablets the manufacturers know is wrong. They know they have nitrogen in it. Plants do not want nitrogen but they know that. They know ever since the 40s that plants do not use nitrogen but they still make root tabs and they call them every other name. Now they don't want to call them fertilizer. They call them root tabs. They call them and they add other stuff to the tabs now to make it look like how important the tabs are. But they're still putting the nitrogen in it and they're still putting phosphates in it. That's garbage. Plants don't need nitrogen. They'll get enough, enough phosphates from your fish and the fish food you feed them. And this is where people keep failing. It's the biggest secret that manufacturers keep from the hobbyists. They want to keep you as stupid as humanly possible so you keep buying their products and buying all their chemicals because that is the way they want it. These people who think that they're going to put dirt in their tanks. I researched over 150 different substrates, 150 different substrates that took me 10 years of research. And you know what the best substrate I found when I made the anoxic filtration system that was the cheapest to the hobbyists was plain old kitty litter. You got it. 
plain old three dollar up for a 20 bag pound bag of kitty litter because it attracts ions out of the water kitty litter does and guess what ion it attracts the ammonia ion that's what plants need now you put a little mixture of some iron in with that and guess what you'll grow a brand new kind of bacteria that nobody wants you to know nobody talks about it nobody it's not in books except for the books that uh, Mackie Saki and myself have written about it it's called heterotrophic facultative anaerobic bacteria now I bet a lot of you had never even heard of that bacteria because all you keep hearing about is oh nitrosomatous bacteria that's all that's shoved down your throat nobody wants to talk about a specialized bacteria that actually can keep your fish healthy keep them spawning keep your algae problems down keep the cyanobacteria at bay nobody wants to know you the secrets of how to make a fish tank or a pond using an anoxic filter and how do you make an anoxic filter what kind of oxygen levels are needed putting your substrate at the bottom of a tank no it doesn't work not for everybody you're always going to get the person who's going to say oh it works great but not for everybody and this guy Mackey Sackey which is really Sid Mitchell he has written about it in the UK and he has he has an internet site where if you just google him you'll find out here is in uh, an oxy filtration system in Italy this is used all over the world look at the profuse hair growth this is root hair growth this is what you want your plants to have not root growth but root hair growth and here's a test done on my pond look at that TDS 117 I bet you people TDS and their fish tanks is higher this is without a water change 254 without a water change and the other one will show it now here's a test for nitrates look at the nitrates under 20 parts per million not even showing up so what is wrong here's a nitrate test kit from uh, Lamont the most accurate test kit out there look at this parts per million of TDS 127 I bet you a lot of people's fish tanks aren't even that low and this is a pond that's getting fed two and a half pounds of food every week with 10 koi in it and 750 gallons of water now how is this what I, I don't wave a magic wand over my aquarium and say grow perfect there's a science behind it this pond right here some of those fish you were looking at the ones that you some of these fish are over 33 inches long they are massive and yet they are in a pond of about 2800 gallons using an anoxic filter which I have showed you anoxic filters are very powerful filters they can do just about anything you want them to do but manufacturers don't want you to know it it's a big huge secret and it's been out for over 30 years I did the research on it it's been out for 30 years this aquarium you're looking at the reason it looks the way it is because I put science behind it I just isn't willy-nilly throw my gravel at the bottom of the tank and think oh well let luck have it and this also uses a sump and people say well you shouldn't use a sump because of this that it uses a sump every rule that everybody says you should not do I prove that if you do it right you can accomplish anything and I bet you within a year this tank it's going to look like a jungle it's going to be so crowded I mean if you look at my previous videos you will see how skimpy everything looked when I first set this up and this is five months of growth and I only have six fish remember what I said in my past videos planted tanks are filthy dirty tanks but there are ways of handling that filth and that dirt and getting out of there because you can't really clean a plant a tank you can do a water change but you can't gravel vac anything so you have to be smart so if this is uh, what your whistle a little bit on 
Maybe you would like to know how to grow heterotrophic, facultative, anaerobic bacteria, which is a demorphic bacteria. In other words, it can steal its oxygen from nitrates and phosphates. That's correct. It steals oxygen from nitrates and phosphates. But nobody's ever told you that, have they? Nobody's ever told you about that bacteria, how we can grow it in our fish tanks, how we grow it in our ponds. Look at those ponds. Look at how they're growing. No fertilizer. And yet they're not all full of hair algae. And, they're, and they, people feed their fish profusely, and they're way overcrowded. So until next time, I will try to explain to you a little more in better detail, if I can, about how to start a fish tank like this and how you should be coming up in five months with the same results. There's just no reason why anyone can't repeat what I'm doing. But because of science, we know better. But if you still want to do it the way the manufacturers say to do it and still buy root tabs that have nitrogen and phosphate in it, then go ahead and keep buying it because the manufacturers love you for it because that's what pays their bills. Until next time, this is Dr. Novak. Happy uh, fish tanking there, people. Thank you very much for watching.